Hey guys, Michael here. It's about 7 a.m. I'm just obviously doing this on my own in my backyard. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video on this just because uh, me and Patrick won't be available until tonight, which means we won't be able to film until tonight, which means we won't be online until tomorrow, and then you would have heard about it already. So you may have heard about this already uh, anyway because it came out yesterday, but uh, Deadline is reporting that Alden Alderic, Alderic? Ehrenreich. Alden Ehrenreich is uh, pretty much going to be the new young Han Solo in the upcoming uh, standalone Star Wars story Han Solo film. Um, apparently his screen testing uh, beat out a lot of the competition that he was having with uh, Taron Edgerton and Jack Rayner. Um, so that's cool. If you've uh, uh, seen any of his movies, that's cool. He's been in uh, recently Hail Caesar, which I have not seen, uh, but I plan on seeing it. Um, you know, I love the Coen brothers, and, you know, I'll see anything they make, but I haven't gone around to it. He's also been in, like, uh, Beautiful Creatures. I actually haven't seen a single thing that he's done. I think Patrick has seen, uh, Hail Caesar, so we'll have to get his take on that. The new film is being written by Lawrence Kasdan with his son, uh, so that's good. Like, you know, of the two standalone movies, um, Obviously, Lawrence Kasdan has more experience writing for Han Solo than he does for Rogue One, which is like, you know, kind of its own thing. But he knows Han Solo frontwards and backwards because he wrote Force Awakens, he wrote Empire Strikes Back, and he wrote Return of the Jedi. So, of the two projects that are currently in development, apparently there's going to be three, but of the two, that seemed like the perfect fit for him. So, you know, I'm excited about this. It's going to be directed by Phil Lord and Chris Miller, who did 21 Jump Street and The Lego Movie which that is like the perfect combination of like comedy and wit, but they can also do action, like, you know, even the Lego movie and it's special effects, right? Lego movie was like, you know, four-fifths a CG movie. I mean, no spoilers for the ending, but it, there is a little bit of real world stuff. Um, so I think that's good. I like this is coming together. It's gonna start shooting pretty soon. Um, Alden was born in 1989, so I guess that makes him about going on 27 now, so he'll be probably when they start filming 28. Um, the rumor is that Han Solo is supposed to be like roughly 20 years old, so he is a bit older for the part. Some people are saying like maybe he doesn't quite look the part, but he does have that like square jawed feature. Um, he doesn't look exactly like Han, like Harrison Ford. Like, fine, okay, you're never going to find that perfect candidate. But you put him in the costume. If the acting's good and the writing's good and the directing's good, that's the main thing that matters. That's what will sell you. And I think, like, if everything comes together as it seems like it is, after five or six minutes, you'll just forget about him, just accept him as Han Solo. And also, it's been confirmed that Chewbacca will be making an appearance in the film. So I don't know if it's going to be, like, more of, like, well... In the expanded universe, Han Solo was raised by Wookiees and he rescued Chewbacca and that's why he owes him a life debt. So I don't know if they're going to be doing an origin story of that or if they're just going to be jumping straight into it. Um, given his age, the fact that he's going on 27 now, by the time they film he'll be 28, like that's pushing 30. I have a feeling the rumors about like an 18 or 20 year old Han Solo are a little bit out of place. I think he'll be like more like in his early to mid 20s, like maybe 23, 24. I think he could sell that convincingly. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Just thought I'd give you a quick update. Leave us uh, your feedback on what you think of this, whether you like it, whether you dislike it, um, any other actors that you think would be better suited. I know there's. Um, the actor that played Harrison Ford's son in that movie. I can't remember his name now. But uh, I, they probably approached him. I guess he's just not interested. So, you know, just because someone looks like Harrison Ford and can act doesn't mean they're going to agree to do the movie. I guess that's the big takeaway. So, of all the realistic candidates, give us uh, your opinion, and we'll see you next episode.